You can't stay, you got to go. Who said that? Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today we are talking about fake friends. Fake friends, I put it into a theme video where I'm gonna be talking about fake fragrances, but the, the theme and the idea came from fake friends and I'm relating it to fake fragrances. If you like fun videos, if you like to be entertained, if you like to laugh, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. While you're at it, if you really wanna become a bestie, come over and say hi on Instagram. Now you guys, this is a very, okay, very, engaging video, meaning that I wanna hear from you. The first thing that I wanna hear from you is I want to hear what are you rocking today? You know I love to ask you, what are you rocking? The second thing I want to hear from you, and this is a very fun, playful, <laughs> non-formal, informal, but relatable video. So I want you to leave down in the comment section, if you're comfortable, of course, what type of friend are you? Or you can leave down what type of friend is like your pet peeve, like I don't rock with those kind of people type of friend. Like I wanna hear from you, I wanna hear your experiences as well. Let's have some fun with this video. And let's jump into this video right now. Guys, when you think of a fake friend, let me give you my experience. Yes, we're gonna get into the fragrances, but you know I always have to paint a picture and tell a story. If you know, you know. So fake friends, friends that smile on your face and the whole time they wanna take your place. <laughs> no, 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 I'm quoting Drake, I'm quoting Drake, but seriously. Fake friends are people who you think are your friend, but they really don't show up for you. When you need them, they're not there for you. My pet peeve is, this is my pet peeve when it comes to a friendship. If you need me and I'm there for you, like one thing about me is that I'm very, very loyal. If I love you, I love you. You know what I mean? Like if you're my dog, if you're my girl, if you're my guy, whatever the heck, if you just that with me, that's how we are. It's like, like I said in the other video, if we locked in, ain't no switching up. It's like, I should know that I can depend on you. You should know that you could depend on me. I'm not gonna leave you high and dry. I'm not gonna leave you on red. Those are just things that I'm not doing, not to a friend, you know what I mean? But fake friends, they might do anything. Okay, so let's talk about them, but that's my pet peeve. If we're friends, we're friends. If you have something, even the hard conversations, even the tough conversations, even things that they might do that irritate you, one of the best things that you can do, and I've learned this from experience, is tell them. You don't have to tell them in a mean way. You don't have to read somebody. You don't have to clown somebody. You don't have to do anything like that. But you can find a respectful way to say, what you're doing is getting on my nerves. And if we can't find a way to reach an agreement, we might need to let this friendship go. You know what I mean? I am the type of person, and I, am I sharing all this? Dang, oh my gosh. Okay, but I am the type of person, you guys, seriously, like I don't mind conflict, but most of the times if I say it, it's over. Because I have, I, I'm the person that will let you do it again and again and again and again and again. And then it's like, when it comes to that last point, it's, it's just like, it's over. So I rarely say anything. I'm the type guilty, I'll just walk away. You just don't hear from me. It's like, what happened? It's, it's I, I, you just don't hear from me. I just, I can't, you know what I mean? If you can relate, hit the like button. If you can't, it's all good. Anyways, let's talk about this one here. This is Sheru, oh God, girl. Can't you even say the name anymore? This is by Sol de Janeiro. This is 62. This is the Uda Puff M. I bought it. I had the, um, what did I have? I had the, the trial, the tester size. I bought it, it was beautiful. And you guys, yes, I'm spraying everything on me today, okay? I don't even wanna, I don't even care. Oh my gosh. It was so good and I had the little tester so I did and I followed my own rules, took my own advice. I started with the tester, I got it. I was like, okay, I love this. This is it. I have the body cream, the bum bum cream, the sh the scrub, the everything, the shampoo, it has it all. I had it all. So I said, okay, I'm going to get the fragrance. What better way? You guys, this does not last. This is a fake friend that you thought it was good. It was going good in the beginning. You introduced me to everybody, the bum bum cream, the shower gel, the sugar scrub. You introduced everything and it was all good. Then I went back to purchase you and you're non-existent. This lasts on me for about two hours and then it's gone. I shared that with you in a few videos back. I slept in it a little bit more. I played with it a little bit more. I'm like, the verdict is in. On me, in my opinion, this does not last. This will never be repurchased by me again. 
Yeah, I've spoken to a few of you and we all have said the same thing. The body spray, uh, the body cream, that lasts a lot more. So do yourself a favor if you've been interested in this and wanting to pick it up. I would recommend sticking with the body spray, uh, the body cream, the shower gel, even the body scrub. But this right here for the price, I believe I paid over $39 for it. It's just not worth it. And I'll give you a few of the notes, but I'm not really gonna be talking about notes, but I'm gonna give a few, I'm gonna give a few, don't worry. Uh, it has vanilla, caramel, it has a pistachio in it, salt, sandalwood. All I put in here, this is a fake friend because it looks pretty, you think it's gonna last, and then you get there and they don't show up for you. This is a fake friend. I will never buy it again. I move on. Now this friend here, th oh gosh. This is a friend here where you're like, oh my gosh, like I love her or him. You guys, this is, Everybody, okay? All the besties I'm talking to. Him, her, boy, child, human. Put yourself in the situation, be relatable. So listen, this is a friend that you're like, oh my God, I love her, I love him, I can't wait to hook up, I can't wait to get together. Like we always have a good time. Everybody knows them, they're very popular. Everybody wants to be friends with them. This is the it girl, this is the it guy. Everybody is like, oh my God, you're friends with her. Like, oh my God, you guys are besties. Oh my God, you know him. Yes, girl, yes, guy. And then you're like, okay, okay. So you get ready, you go out, and you guys are meeting up, and then you get there, right? And you're rocking together and you're like, all right, all right, I see you. You even text, hey, I'm here, are you here? Yes, girl, I'm here, yes, guy, I'm here. And they pull up and you're like, you seen them and you're like, oh, hey, hey. And then it's like, you didn't see them no more for the rest of the night. Then every now and again, they would make an appearance and you'd be like, hey, girl, where were you? They disappeared again. Well, where have you been? They disappeared. Baccarat Rouge 540. That's what I'm talking about. This is a friend that plays that disappearing magic act. Just when you think things are going good, just when you think things are going well, just when you think that you're a part of the It Club, you made it, this fragrance is gone. Okay, it is nowhere to be found. It has left the building. You have looked for it, you have traced it, you have sprayed heavy. <laughs> You have did all the things and this fragrance is nowhere to be found. You're like, now nah, you're a pretty penny. You cost a lot, everybody is talking about you, everybody is trying to be you. They have duped you to no end and the original is just not there. But you know what? This is where it gets bad. This is where it gets bad and stop what you're doing right now and hit the like button if you can relate. No matter what though, you keep going back to this fragrance. You keep going back. You know you heard people tell you it's not gonna be there. You know you heard people tell you it disappears, it plays the magic act, but you keep going back to it. That's me with this fragrance. I don't care how many bottles I go through, how much it disappears, I'm gonna go back to it. I'm, I'm, I'm messed up like that, that's how I am. I'm going back to this fragrance. This is Baccarat Rouge 540, you guys. This one here is the original, it has amber, it has <laughs> Saffron, it's a beautiful fragrance. Some have said it smells medicinal. Some people talk about it. I'm so over Baccarat. I will never be over it, okay? I'm gonna shout it to the rooftops. I am always gonna own Baccarat Rouge 540 in my collection. If you know, you know. I move on. All right, this is another who's who. It's it girl, it's it guy. If you know, you know, everybody has talked about it. Everybody has rocked with it. They've mixed it with something. It could be a standalone. It could be a supporting actor, but it ain't gonna last long. <laughs> and that is Tom Ford Lost Jerry. Beautiful fragrance, warm, spicy, all the things, the liqueur, the dark cherry, it's kind of even gourmand, even plum, um, patchouli, clove. Like I said, it's a beautiful fragrance, but it's not going to last. And I know it's not gonna last. I know it's not gonna last. But the thing about it is, if I run out, and when I do, I'm going back to buy another bottle. That's how I am. I'm going back to buy another bottle of Tom Ford Lost Cherry, you guys. I do not care. I'm going back to buy another bottle. I will not pay full price. I will not pay full price, and I shared with you, if you live near a cosmetic company store, pop in here and there, they always have Tom Ford fragrances, and you can get them for a fraction of the price. I will say this as well. Just in case you do not live near one, because I don't, or at least I don't think I do, or I'm not driving to it, how about that, let's say that. Um, you can always call, they're really nice on the phone, you have to call around to all of them, find out which one has it, and they will ship it to you, and they have fast 
shipping and they ship a lot of samples and stuff with it as well and there's always like a discount on top of a discount so I want to make mention of that as well but Tom Ford Lost Cherry is that friend is just not gonna be there you could have been there for them you put all the eggs in the basket when it comes to your turn and you're looking like hey girl where you at guy where you at they're not there they're just not there that's how they are I move on a fake friend you think it's good, but it's not. Ooh, okay, this one, this one. This is a friend that you fell in love with. You guys, you guys hit it off. You guys, it had everything. She or he had everything you were looking for. They were loyal. They were on time. You guys meshed well. You like the same kind of music. You like the same type of places to hang out at. You guys like the same type of coffee. You know, you get down to the coffee, right? You like the same type of matcha. You want yours with almond milk. She want hers with almond milk. It's like, oh, this is just good. But then it's like, they ghost you and you can't find them anywhere. And the reason why you can't find them anymore is because they've been discontinued. They are gone. They are no longer being made. And you're like, what do I do now? And that is Tom Ford Orchid Soleil. This is a beautiful white tube rose fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is perfect for hot weather, perfect for spring, perfect for summer. Um, I try not to spray it as much as I used to because I have found that it's been discontinued. And you know me, if I really can't find it at the department store or a real trusted site that I trust, which are not many, I'm not buying it. So this one I know I picked up at Tom Ford or like Macy's, not Macy's, um, uh, Bloomingdale, somewhere like that, a department store. So this is like legit. I don't know if I'm gonna find it legit again and I'm not taking the risk. So I just spray and tread lightly, but this is a beautiful fragrance. I, I don't, I'm talking about it because it's been discontinued. So it's like one of those friends that you really hit it off with and you hit everything with and you just can't find them no more because they're gone. They moved, they didn't tell you they were moving, they didn't tell you they were coming back. They just left, they just left without any trace of you ever finding them again. That's how it is. And that's how this fragrance is. Um, like I said, tube rose, soft, spicy, it's creamy, it's beautiful, it's got a good pink pepper in it, so it's kinda hot. You know I love a hot fragrance, but it's discontinued. So no matter how hyped you get or how much fun you had, you're never gonna have it again unless you kept something from the friendship because this person and this fragrance has been discontinued. They are gone. I move on. This is a beautiful fragrance. And a lot of these are just great for spring, summer, what have you. This is a beautiful fragrance. Perfect for spring, perfect for summer. However, it's very light. You have to spray extremely heavy. Even when spraying heavy, if I put a lot of moisturizer on and put like a lotion on that kind of resembles the fragrance notes in it, I can get it to last a little longer. Like if I put my Turkish Rose Perfume Oil by Nest on with it and I mix it with um, the Beja Fresh Lotion from So De Janeiro, it will last a little bit longer. But even then, it's given about four hours top Beautiful fragrance, however, it does not last. That is Mon Paris. This is the one that came out in 2016. It's a fruity floral, it's a beautiful fragrance. It's sweet, it's kind of syrupy, it's got a lot of berries in it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. However, it's a fake friend because it just doesn't last. Oh, but it is good. It is good. Um, if you want something that's not extremely long lasting, is not extremely beast mode or anything like that, I would say give it a whiff, but just know on me, from my experience, I'm telling you, it does not have the best longevity. I will say this, I will not purchase this one again, but they do have a few other ones that I will go in and smell, and I will see if there's one that I might like a little bit more than this with a better longevity. If you happen to know one, leave it down in the comment section below. I love to hear from you. I reach for this, you know, this time of year right now, spring, summer. I wore this out to a winery um, maybe last year, because the other year we were in the house, right? Yeah. Um, sorry, I digress, I come back. But yes, um, I wore this out and it was beautiful. I had had something like this on, so I had doused myself, I had sprayed it everywhere, and I kept getting whiffs of myself, and I was like, oh my God, okay, it's really lasting. I love it, I love it. But then I reached for like a few days, months, weeks, whatever have you later, and I didn't do all the antics of putting all the, you know, oils on. I just did a regular, you know, body cream and put this on, and it was like gone in like two hours, and I'm like, oh no, we, we can't do that. So once I run out of this, this is another one that I will never, buy again I move on this is on everybody's chopping block this friend is like a good friend it's a good friend but you know you know how you have those friends that and this is where I feel maturity comes in a friendship or you just have to know when a person shows you who they are believe them let me say that again for the people in the back when a person shows you who they are believe them believe them 
When they tell you who they are, listen to them. But when they show you who they are, believe them. And I say that because a lot of times people say a lot of things. You know what I mean? Talk is cheap. My grandmother always told me that. Talk is cheap. Anybody can do it. It doesn't cost anything to talk. But when you show me your actions and when I see what you're about by you showing it, demonstrating it, something you're physically actually doing, that's what I take your word at. So you can talk all day long, but only what you show me is what I'm going to believe. Yes, we're still talking about fragrances. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that this fragrance shows well. It shows well, but oftentimes we know how a person is going to be and yet we go back to them. If you have got to that level of maturity, I know she gonna flake, but I'm gonna still ask her if she wanna go. I know he gonna back out at the last minute, but I'm gonna still see if he wanna roll with us. I know he ain't gonna have the funds, but I'm gonna still see if, you know, he wanna come to brunch or I know, you know, he didn't give me nothing for Christmas. I know he didn't get me nothing, but I'm gonna still get him something. I know she ain't gonna pay me back. I know I already know she ain't gonna pay me back. I already know that. But I'm gonna still loan her the money because I love her, because she's my friend, because she's my girl, because he's my dog. I'm just going to do it. That's, you know, that's just how I get down, right? That's Joe Malone's fragrances. This one happens to be wood, sage, and sea salt. This is a very aquatic marine type of fragrance. Sage, it's um, beautiful, sea salt. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a unisex fragrance, man, woman, boy, child, human. Anybody can pull up and rock it. Tons of people want to be friends with it. It's definitely beautiful for spring and summer. It has a, you know, um, I would say three, four hour longevity, but you're not gonna smell it. It'll be there, but you have to really get in to go down and see if you still smell it on yourself. I know what this fragrance offers. I know what it offers. This is still like my second or third bottle, hence why it's like full. I think I just picked this up last year. I knew it wasn't gonna last, and I have so many Jo Malone fragrances, and I know what they are. They showed me who they are, I believe them, I choose to still purchase them because I like the fragrance that much. And sometimes that's how friends are. I know what you gonna do. I already know how you gonna act. I already know what you gonna bring to the table. But I allow it because I like you that much that to me you're just worth it. And I'm like, what you're putting out, I can get down with, so it's all good. And that's how I feel about this fragrance. So fake friend, because I really can't depend on you. You really ain't gonna show up. You really ain't gonna stand the test of time but I'll ride with you and I'll rock with you because I just like you that much. And that's my choice and that's what I'm choosing. So in the event that you're looking for something for spring or summer, you want something like not too in your face, maybe you work in a doctor's office or maybe you work somewhere where they're telling you to keep your fragrances light, this will be a way to go. It's a beautiful fragrance, I move on. This fragrance is C Passion Eclat. Did I say that right, Eclat? Forgive me, this is a clean soapy fragrance. It's kind of fruity at the same time, black currant, uh, bergamot, rose, Madagascar, vanilla. It's beautiful. It just does not have the best longevity on me. And I got kind of caught up because I bought the C Passion Intense, which I cannot find it anymore. I don't know if they discontinued that one. So I said, oh, that one was good in cold weather. Let me get this one because this should probably really good be really good for spring and summer. And so I did and I got it and it's good. It smells amazing. Can't knock it on the fragrance uh, smell. It's very nice and it's sexy. Yes, guys, it's sexy, it's sexy. However, it just doesn't have the best longevity. It lasts longer on my clothes than it does on my body. So whenever I put it on, I spray my body, but I spray my clothes extremely heavy because when you walk past and it's on your clothes, you will get a whiff of it. So if you are looking for something and you're not really, you know, caring that much about and you don't mind reapplying it, uh, C Passion Eclat is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance to go with. I move on. Now this friend, <laughs> This friend is just in your face. This friend is in your face. She is going to come in. She is going to shut it down. This person is, when they show up, you already know they're gonna be seen, they're gonna be noticed, they're gonna be heard, they're kinda loud. Everybody sees them coming and they are definitely gonna be there for a long time. This is one of those friends that you're like, oh my gosh, you're almost too much. You know what I mean? You're like one of those friends that's almost too much. You're always doing the most. Sounds like I'm talking about me. But you're always doing the most, you're always extra, you're always doing too much, and that is Alien. This is this lady, 
Alien by Mugler. This right here, you guys, is gonna come in and shut it down. This is a friend that you bring somewhere with you and they overshadow you. They overpower you, they overshadow you, they take over. You invited them to your event and you start looking at them like, is this your event or my event? This is that kind of friend. The friend that you're like, oh God, I gotta tell her to like calm down. Tell him to like tame down a little bit because you're doing the most. You're do this is not your event. Please calm down. Please have several seats. This is that friend. And this is Alien. You guys, this fragrance, really nice fragrance. Strong fragrance, okay? I tell you guys, this is the lady that talks like this. This is Alien. It is a beast fragrance. But it's unique. It stands out. It's been around forever, so it is loyal. That's the difference on this friend. It's it's loyal, it's been around forever, it stands the test of time, it's not gonna leave you high and dry. It's gonna be there. You definitely gonna know it's there, because you're gonna be like, why are you all up in my space? But it's that type of friend, it's that type of fragrance. So. This is a friend that you might have to say to calm down a little bit. I did go out one night and I oversprayed this when I had very first got it. I knew nothing about Mugler. A lot of people kept asking me about it and I have like, I was like, I have no idea. I really build my collection on stuff I stumble upon and be like, oh my God, that's good. Or if I smell someone and I go, what are you wearing? And they tell me what they're wearing and then I go and try it. And if it, you know, feels good and smells good on me, I'll get it. That's why typically I'm not one of those, oh, a new fragrance came out, let me buy it. I have to have some type of relationship with it. So this fragrance, I, everybody kept asking me about it. I went out and I was like, let me smell it. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, okay, okay. It took me a while. And then I was like, okay, let me put it in the collection. So I sprayed it like crazy because you know that's what she does, spray heavy. This is not one to spray heavy and go overboard with or, you know, go be small with because on my, on me, it was like, I was choking my own self out. I was like, you did too much again. This is one of those fragrances. A few of the notes, you guys, it's a white floral, amber, jasmine. It's woody down in the base. It is long lasting and I call this the takeover friend. This is a friend that, yes, it was your event, but he or she is taking it over. Hands down, it's the takeover fragrance. You will not be disappointed. I don't know about a new formulation, reform. I can't answer that. I don't know any of that. This is the one that I got probably three years ago. I have no idea, to be honest. But um, this is definitely long lasting and a beast of a fragrance. I move on. And that is it. Thank you so much. That is it for my fake friend video. You guys, it was so much fun. I just love talking about fragrances and like real life, like what you can relate it to. And I like having fun with my videos. So yes, it was fake friends, like throwing some gems and everything like that. But at the same time, these are the gist of these fragrances. A few of these I will never buy and bring to my collection again. Once they are done, they are done. And I wanna say this, once you have a person that has shown you who they are, they have disrespected you, they have crossed boundaries, crossed lines, don't make no more excuses for them. Don't try and fit them in, carve them in, you know, hold them in. When they showed you who they are, believe them and do yourself a favor, let it go. Let it go. I'm, I'm not only talking to you, before I was even able to bring this video to you, I had to first bring it to myself because I am that person that will give you chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. And then I just have to be like, girl, it's enough. Like you don't make me happy. You don't bring enough to the table and you don't want my presence. So therefore you have to go. And the only way you will get to that point is when you value you and you know your worth. Until then, you will always be frustrated. I will say this, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and over and expecting a different result. It's not going to happen. When a person shows you who they are, believe them. And when a fragrance shows you who it is, believe it. Baccarat Rouge 540 has shown me time and time again, I'm gonna spray this on to no ending and I'm gonna smell it. And then I'm not gonna smell it again. I know that going in, but I'm okay with it. I would still purchase it again. Here's the boundaries. Cheruso 62 or whatever it's called, I believe that's the name. If it's not, forgive me, I'm trying. This has showed me who it is. I've sprayed it on, I've sprayed it heavy, and it just left me high and dry and left me standing. I have no tolerance for it. I don't want it that bad in my collection. You will never be brought back into my collection again. So there's your difference. This is one that I'm willing, not for the fragrance, but for me, I'm willing to tolerate. So it can stay. But this, you can't. 
You can't stay. You got to go. Who said that? Beyonce. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyways, you guys, that's it. I'm done with the video. I'm getting a thumbnail now. Okay. That is it. I hope you have had fun. If you had fun, give this video a huge thumbs up. Share it with a friend. <laughs> uh oh. Don't share it with that friend. Maybe you should. Share it with that friend. Okay? Share it with that friend. And don't be afraid to stand up for you. I am on this whole self heal journey. Like, if you don't bring me peace, if you don't bring me happiness, if you don't bring me love, if you don't bring me no money, we can't be. I can't. I'm not taking, I'm not, I'm not settling. I'm just, I'm just not. Those are the boundaries that I set and you're not crossing them. It is what it is. I have so much fun with these videos with you guys. So I hope they're being helpful. I hope they are being relatable. Like I said, share it with somebody. Come over, say hi on Instagram. I am getting all of your comments. I told you guys that I'm done with the fragrance. I'm just talking now. I told you guys that in the last video that it's easier for me to get video requests that you want to see on Instagram because it's right there on my phone. I flag it, I tag it, and then I go back to it and then I will come and create the video. When you leave it on the com in the comment section, sometimes I don't always have my pencil and paper to write it down, so I might miss it. I do have some coming up. I know we want an all white party. I have heard you guys talk about work fragrances that you want to see as well. And then wedding day fragrances we have coming up. Um, and then somebody asked or something, oh, outdoor festival events. I've heard you, I've heard you. I have all those lined and coming up. I am back home. I am not traveling right now. So the fragrance videos, the vlog videos, all the videos are just going to be coming out. So make sure you turn on your post notification so that you don't miss the video. And don't ever leave the video without leaving a comment because I love hearing from you guys and it makes me really happy looking down in the comments and seeing your faces. And I love answering them and talking to you. And if you're shy, I understand. Come over and say hi on Instagram. Over there, it's just me and you. All right, I will talk to you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, besties, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, duelings. Thanks for watching. Bye.